If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video. Guys, today what you're going to be watching is a game, a head-to-head -head seasons game. Uh, this is one where I actually got matched up against a subscriber, so kind of a cool thing to have happen. Uh, he messaged me after the game, sent me a GG. This is a, a close game actually. Um, but obviously, I think he kind of knew a lot of my play style, and he was able to stop a lot of the things that I did on offense. So that made things a little more difficult. Obviously, if you guys don't know this, uh, if you're playing against somebody that knows your game, your play style, they know your playbook to some extent, and they've seen what you do, they are generally going to have a little bit of an advantage on you because you can't go out there and do your standard things. You have to kind of mix it up, uh, and they will automatically have that little advantage that you wouldn't have on them. So it makes things a little bit more interesting. But with that being said, guys, I want to actually talk about something different today. This is uh, its kind of an interesting time right now to be a YouTuber because we're seeing a whole bunch of different things happen. Um, the new copyright system, the new quote unquote bullying system on YouTube, all kinds of different stuff is causing problems for YouTubers. But one of the things that's actually really interesting right now, in my opinion, is the the situation that's happening with Syndicate and T Martin. Now, if you guys aren't aware about this, uh, this has been a pretty big story all over Twitter, all over YouTube. It was covered by, I think it was covered by Drama Alert. It was definitely covered by Scarce. Uh, but basically, guys, what happened here is that T. Martin and Syndicate have started advertising for this website that's called CSGO Lotto. And basically, it's a game within the game, or I guess it's outside the game. But basically, what you're doing is betting within CSGO. And you're not betting like playing against one another as far as like, you know, if, if my team beats your team, we win more money. Like, that's totally fine. We get that. But this thing is actually like betting in-game items and basically doing a lottery type of system to try and determine who's going to win. So it's a really interesting situation because it's kind of one of those gray areas, right? Because there is no sort of regulation on it right now whatsoever. And, and those of you that know me know that I'm kind of in large part mostly pretty much entirely against government regulation. I'd rather see it actually regulated by the people that are on the website and on, you know, using the service and things like that demand that there is legitimacy to whatever product they're using. Uh, but when you have a situation like this, you're you're really in an awkward spot as a user because we get lied to by the people that actually own this website. So what ended up happening is that uh, basically T. Martin put out a video. It, the majority of the hate is going toward T. Martin right now, but I think Syndicate it should get a bunch of hate as well uh, for this whole situation. But basically, T. Martin put out a video where he acted like he had just found this website, just stumbled, happened to stumble across it. And he actually said that in the video, you know, I, I happened to come across this website, then I started using it and I thought it was really cool. Well, in reality, what we ended up finding out from various different sources is that not only did T. Martin know about this website, he owned the website. Okay. When he made the video, he owned the website. He later came out and said he didn't own the website at the time that he created the video and then he ended up owning it, but later it's been proven that he actually owned the website to begin with. And that was covered by H3H3 Productions in a video that they created. So it's it's a very, very interesting situation because he is on there advertising it and he played the game on there. Uh, he won a pot or, or whatever, but the problem is that he's acting like he has no affiliation with this other than that maybe they sponsor him. When in reality, he owns the website and he's trying to get people to use it. He's using his quote unquote, you know, celebrity status to get people to use the website. Now, I will say this. I have no problem with that. OK, if you disclose it, you know, I own the website. You know, it is what it is. Just like at the beginning of this video, you're going to see that I had the mobile Madden coins uh, link. Now, I do not own mobile Madden coins. They pay me to advertise their website. OK, so it is a completely different situation. I do not own that website. I don't even own part of it at all. I don't get money if people buy coins on there or anything like that. So it, it has nothing to do with uh, with anything like that. And the other thing, too, is that that website, Mobile Madden Coins, does not actually 
have anything to do with betting or anything like that. They're not skewing things to try and screw people over, or potentially screw people over. I guess I shouldn't put out that claim that that um, that the CSGO Lotto website is doing that because there's absolutely no proof of them doing that. The only thing that I will say is that because they do own this website, there's no reason that they couldn't do that. So that is a big problem. When you're advertising it and you're saying, you know, that this is a legitimate website and I use it and I have fun on it and this and that, and then in reality you own the website, <laughs> it kind of makes things a little bit tough. Now, Syndicate Project, um, he, as far as I know, does not own the website, but he obviously knew that T. Martin did own the website and he didn't come out and say that. So that's a difficult thing. Now, we don't know necessarily that, again, he doesn't own the website because he might be a co-owner with T. Martin and T. Martin might name his name might have just been on the actual papers when they registered the business. But still, it, it's a it's a major, major problem uh, and a big time conflict of interest to not disclose that you actually have some say in the goings on in the company. And if he would have done that from the beginning, I don't think necessarily that people would have had a problem. If you would have put out his video and said, I own this website, we created it, it's a lot of fun, go check it out. And then he showed himself playing it. I don't think people would have had a problem with that other than, of course, if he would have won, then people would have been like, hey, did did, did you skew that to make yourself win? Because consider that. Again, there's no regulation on this website at all. And if T. Martin's playing on there and he said he won a $67 pot, imagine if you were one of those people that was involved in that pot, even if he only won $67. Let's say you put in five, okay? And you found out later that he had better odds or, or you don't even necessarily find out. You just find out that you went against the person who owns the website and who could basically go in and change the odds to be in their favor. Even if they only do it at a very slight percentage, let's say it's only uh, a, a 0.5% that the person that or f- 0.5% advantage that the person that owns the website has, that's enough of an edge to make ridiculous money. I mean, we're not talking about these websites making a little bit of money. There are tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars that flow through these websites. And even if they're only taking a small percentage of them, that's big enough. I mean, this is like casino type stuff, guys. And if they're not disclosing the fact that they own the website and they're playing with you, that would be crazy. I mean, just think about that. That, that would be very, very bad if a casino came out and did this exact same thing. If you found out, for example, that the owner of a casino was playing, uh, you know, bingo against you and their electronic bingo game could have been manipulated, that would be a big problem. That's basically what's happening here. So that's kind of the situation, guys. Uh, I want to hear what you guys have to say below about this whole situation. I mean, is this something that you think is a big problem? Uh, are you pissed at T. Martin? Are you pissed at Syndicate Project? Let me know in the comment section below. Normally, I don't cover this kind of thing, but I thought it was very interesting, and I wanted to go over it because I want to point out that what we do with Mobile Madden Coins and what we do with some of these coin sites is not anything similar to what they're doing. We're advertising a product in the same way that Peyton Manning advertises Papa John's. Okay, We have no monetary benefit aside Aside from you know getting the the small amount of money that we would get from the coin selling websites uh, because they pay us to advertise. I mean that's literally all that it is. So it's a paid sponsorship. It's not anything like what these guys do. Uh, what they're doing is very possibly a form of fraud. And I, I don't want to say that it is fraud because we don't necessarily know that, but it, it very well could be. So with that being said, guys, again, leave your comments below. I'm interested to hear it. Thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, click that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will talk to you guys again soon.